Hello, today we want to go into a quite useful topic, into the topic logging. Um, this helps us especially in the debugging process, but also for printing out information. Um, what is logging? Logging is actually the capturing and recording of any relevant information about the execution of our program. Yeah. The log message contains information such as the timestamp, but also uh, the severity level. Yeah, there are normally uh, four different kind of messages. The debug message, info message, warning and error. Uh, the error is of course the highest level, uh, so most important level. If something went wrong, we uh, print out the an error message. If it's just a warning that the program can be disturbed or interrupted, then we're using the warning message. Info message is just for common information and debug message we're using in the debugging process. For example, when we are, um, read out a sensor but want to send this sensor data to a NASA device, uh, normally we don't print the sensor while you're out, but we can print it out with a debug message and later just deactivate it so that we can test the sensor on our device. So for this process in Safire, there are also four uh, log macros, so a log message we, which we can generate. So log level one here is for the error message, log level two is for warnings, and log level three for the information, and log level four for debugging messages. So how we activate in Safire as uh, logging. It's actually quite easy. First we have to set in the project conf file config log to yes so parameter. Then afterwards in our program we are just including the header file from uh, so logging and what we have then to do we have to register a module name for logging. So uh, this means that it has a name in different spaces, so a module can, you can be deactivated easily or activated and it can be going over more files, Yeah, but we do it here with one file only. So you make your log mode register and give it just a name like my module or whatever you want. Then we are afterwards can just use the macros for log message, yeah? so macros log error, log warning log info and log debug. Now let's see how we can use logging with Safire. And uh, for this I'm using my NIF52840 developer kit, but of course you can use every other board also. So we are just creating a new application and I'm using here hello world example for this and just call it my log test and create the application. And afterwards um, I create also files. I don't make the build generation now because it's taking longer. But I generate the configuration files. And when we're seeing here we just have a print K uh, command here. This was the usual way when we want to print out something or want to debug something just using print k. Uh, this is working here normally and going over the so UART. In this case my board with a COM port 3. Um, but since we want to use debugging we have to go first in the project conf file and of course activate the debugging first set here the parameter to yes. Another thing what I want to directly add is that I can print out float because I want to uh, print out also float variables in my uh, source code and afterwards I'm just making a few commands here with log messages. Yeah? So I place it here. You see here I have a counter variable. I let here inside the print hello world example with the print k and then I'm making four different kinds of log messages. Yeah? 
uh, log errors. This is when there is an error occur. So I print here out the error code 2, uh, integer value. Then here just a warning um, message and here um, info message. There I'm using the counter. I just count the counter always one up. And here, for example, uh, in the debugging message, I uh, print out the sensor value using here the floats. This is why I activate before here in the project files the float support for the printout. And then I'm making a sleep. Of course, I have also to set the sleep interval. So, and the next thing, of course, I have to make here the include of the header file from the logging and to register my module. So I let this away here first without the second parameter. It's working with two parameters, but also with one. Here I'm just giving uh, the name of the module to my module. Yeah. Then I'm compiling it. Will be a, a, like a pristine build because of the first time, yeah. Because we had we set a few uh, project parameter and then it's taking a little bit longer as so a compiling process. And when this is finished, then I flash the file to my developer board. And afterwards, I just connect to the um, UART, no, how to make this small. So to my COM port, make a connection here. And you seeing here, I get now four messages. Yeah, I getting here the hello world output from the print K. I getting here the error. Um, warning, I'm getting the warning message and I'm getting the information message. What I don't get now is the debugging message. This is because we're having in Safire uh, the log levels are hierarchical. This means when I have activated log level 4, then I get debug messages, info message, warning and error messages. When I activate level 3, I get info messages, warning and error. When I activate level 2, then warnings and errors. And when I activate only level 1, I get just the error messages. And the default log level is 3. So this is why we don't get any debug message. We can set the default level um, in, the con in the project con file, um, like this value here. But then you have always to uh, make a pristine build after it when you want to change it. Yeah? And it's of course valid for the whole application, also for other modules. But we can also set it with log, more, uh, log module register with the second parameter, the log level. And this is what I will do now. So I just make here the macro log level debug. And then I just build it again and flash it to my board. And afterwards, you seeing here, I get um, different kind of messages. Now I get also the debug message here. To uh, be able to setting the log level can be quite useful. Um, here we're having now altogether five outputs. There are the print K and the four log messages. And when we just want to uh, check for errors at the moment, um, and to re reduce the messages, then we're just setting the log level to error, for example, and flash it on the board. And now we're getting just the print K message and the error log message here. Yeah, you see here's timestamp, error, and my module, and the error code. And another advantage is um, that we can control where we want to have the output, the stream. Um, there are different parameters. The back end you can choose. Um, default, I think they're all the most are activated, like the RTT and the UART. 
RTT is from the debugger, the JLink debugger here. On the board, it's a real-time transfer, I think, short uh, for uh, RTT is short for real-time transfer. And um, when we're seeing here, I close the COM port and I'm going to the RTT, then I get the output message also here, yeah? um, and it doesn't use the UART. But I can, of course, also deactivate all, yeah? For example, when I go now here, config log backend rtt to no, then I deactivate the output here. So it will be then a pristine build again, so it takes a little bit. And now when we connect to the RTT, uh, you think then just trailing, but we don't get any output anymore. But when we're going to the COM port, we still get the output here, yeah, the error message. And of course we can do it the opposite if we want to freeze the UART, because we want to use it for other things then we just can use the RTT, for example. Yeah? And again, flash it, again a pristine build. And when it's finished, and we are looking now at the COM port, yeah, um, then we're seeing here, we don't get any output anymore. But when I go to the RTT here, and connect to the RTT, of course I get still my error message. Yeah? And when I just want to deactivate all the log message because I want to uh, save resources, I just make config log to no. Like you see, it's not so difficult uh, to using the logging in Safire and it's quite convenient. Uh, we have four different message types and uh, we can easily deactivate some less important messages um, or even deactivate all the messages. When we're using print k for this, uh, yeah, when we are finished, we have to remove what we don't uh, need anymore in our application, or we have to set before, like a debugging mode, we are macros, and if we are in a debugging mode, then print it out, if not, then not, and it's not so convenient, of course. So, this was the video about logging. Um, I hope you like it. And see you the next time.